Hi, my name is Andrea Stracha, and I'm the director of the Leeds Residential Academic Program. I'm so sorry that we don't have the opportunity to meet in person, but I want to take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about the program that I oversee and give you a taste of what it could be like to be a first year student at the Leeds School of Business. So what is the Leeds Residential Academic Program? Over the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna try and give you a better taste of what it would be like to be a part of the Leeds RAP as a first year student at Leeds. Now, the Leeds RAP is one of many RAPs across campus, but ours is the only one that's designed exclusively for first year students at the Leeds School of Business. So let's dive in. I'm gonna be telling you a little bit more about the nuts and bolts of our program, and then we're gonna dive into the three pillars that really separate the experience that we're able to offer to first year Leeds students. We're gonna talk about the ways in which we try to enrich our students' academic development, their personal and professional development as well. And then we're gonna wrap up with a little bit of information about how to join our community. So, diving right in, what exactly is the Leeds Residential Academic Program? Well, we like to think of ourselves as a professional, academic, and personal accelerator. What does that mean? Students are coming together and living together in a residence hall during your first year of school at the Leeds School of Business. We offer in-house courses so that students can take their business core courses within the confines of our building. We have lots of different support networks that we offer to the students to help them be successful as they transition, not just into you know, their academics, but also into life as a college student. Um, and we also bring together an active community of like-minded peers who share similar interests, but, but also bring together a wonderful diversity of other interests and passions. But because our students share that interest in business, we're able to really build a program that helps foster their interests and help them figure out who it is that they want to be during their time at the Leeds School of Business. So where exactly are we located? Uh, we are a residence hall located on main campus. For those of you who may be a little bit familiar with our campus, we actually have a really nice central location right across from Fair and Field. Um, you'll see in the map that I'm showing you that Shine Arapahoe Hall, where we are located, is circled with a solid line. We're about a five minute walk from the Leeds School of Business in Coble Hall, which is the one that's circled with the dotted line. And we're also centrally located between the Center for Community and the University Memorial Center and Fair End, which are all places where our students like to go and grab a bite to eat. So I know that that's important too for those first year college students. Um, in terms of what we do though, like I said, we really focus on students' academic, professional, and personal development. So we recognize that the transition into college is a challenging one, not just because of the academic transition, but because of all the other transitions happening in your life at that time. And so we wanna make sure that we're focusing on our students um, as whole, you know, well-rounded people and all the different ways that we can support them. So what does that actually look like? Well, for starters, we offer the business courses that students take as freshmen in-house, meaning the faculty who teach those courses come to us, um, and they're teaching those courses like world of business and communication strategy, um, so a whole range of, of courses, um, but it's a really nice opportunity for students to, to literally be taking the classes with the students that they live with. We even have some optional courses, including the first year global experience. I know that you have a lot of opportunities to learn about FGX. Uh, we love to talk about it, um, but I did want to highlight that within the Leeds Wrap, we actually have three sections of that course that we offer exclusively to Leeds Wrap students. So for next year, uh, hopefully we'll be planning our travels to Germany, Portugal, and Argentina. Um, I'm actually very lucky. I get to teach that class and take my students to Buenos Aires, Argentina, which is the photo that I'm showing you here. Um, I'm half Argentine myself, and so it's really amazing to not just learn about such an interesting and complex economy and culture and society, but to take my students to a place that I like to think of as home. So beyond actually having courses offered in-house, there are lots of other academic uh, support measures that we offer to the students. Um, that includes keeping our classes capped at small sizes, making sure that faculty are doing office hours in-house as well, so the students don't have to go out in search of their faculty, but rather faculty come to them. Um, we also have an academic advisor and peer advisors who are located within the building and um, are able to offer tons of resources and support to our students. So again, you know, one of our mantras is that we like to bring resources and support to our students in-house whenever possible. 
Um, when it comes to study groups, those happen both through formal means and also, quite honestly, um, through casual gatherings among friends. Um, but it's not uncommon for you know, half the building to be getting ready for a similar midterm or assignment at the same time. And so uh, there are lots of opportunities to find other people who you can study with or work with um, because we all know that learning together tends to be one of the best ways to achieve success as a student. Um, last but not least, there are lots of free academic tutoring services available on campus, and once again, we try to bring those to our students by having the ASAP tutoring program come to us in China Arapaho Hall. But a big part of figuring out the Leeds experience is also about figuring out what do you even want to study? What do you want to do once you graduate and you have this business degree? So a lot of our time and energy in the RAP is focused on giving students the opportunity to become informed consumers of what Leeds has to offer. So for example, we bring faculty from all of the different areas of study within Leeds to come and talk about what does it actually mean to go and work in marketing or finance or real estate? Um, just as an example, you know, we have people who are our faculty who are typically coming with professional experience in those fields. And so they're not only able to talk about the academic course load and what that would look like, but also what is it really like to be working on Wall Street with Goldman Sachs, for example, or what's it like to run your own marketing agency? And I think that that experience really helps the students start to, to paint a picture in their minds of what those future careers could look like. We also want to make sure that students are aware of all of the other academic opportunities available within Leeds and one of those things is through the certificate programs so we bring together all of the certificate program representatives to again introduce students to the programs give them a taste of what they would be like what they have to offer and help students start to navigate which programs they might be interested in um, and then one of the things that our students really love is the professional speakers that we bring. So we have folks coming from across the business community in Boulder and in Denver, speaking about their backgrounds, their stories. And again, these serve to really paint a picture of what it's like to work in the business world and what those business careers might look like. So just to give you a taste of what we were able to do this past year, we had Justin Gold, who's the founder of Justin's Nut Butter. We had Jane Miller come and talk about what it's like to find and work with your personal mentor. Uh, you'll find that Leeds is really exciting about, excited about mentoring opportunities, and so Jane does a great job of introducing our students to all of that. Charles Schwab came and did a talk about owning your tomorrow and what it's like to work for a, a big firm like Charles Schwab. And we were even able to get a group from the local Boulder Google office to come and talk about what it's really like to work at Google. So um, this is just a taste of what we did in the past year, but again, the idea is that we want students to start to imagine their future careers and decide what are the things that they want for themselves and what are the things that they're not so interested in. Um, of course, you know, having someone come and talk to you is great, but whenever possible, we like to actually get our students outside of the classroom and going over and meeting people in their own home environments. So we do a lot of professional development opportunities through experiential learning, like treks to local businesses. Um, right here is a photo of a group that I took to the PopSocket headquarters right here in Boulder um, earlier in the fall. And we've done things like design sprints for students to be able to create real solutions for local organizations so just lots of opportunities for students to really get their feet wet uh, when it comes to exploring the world of business and starting to put together what these things might look like. Um, what's really exciting, I think, about these experiential learning opportunities also is that they are designed and offered exclusively to students in the Leeds Rep, meaning you're not sitting at the table at a business visit with a senior or a junior who's trying to land a full-time job or an internship, but rather with other freshmen who are in a more similar position and I think coming at that opportunity with a more similar vantage point. So um, we're really excited to be able to offer that to our students. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, the students bring a lot more with them to our community than just their interest in business. In fact, my colleagues and I like to joke that a shared interest in business is just about the only thing that our students seem to have in common. Um, they bring such a rich a diversity of interests and passions and backgrounds and we love giving students an opportunity to highlight that within our community. So we have lots of opportunities to really bring people together and to also help students find their little group of friends, figure out who, who their people are now that they're in college. Um, so we have a team of student leaders who put together events throughout the year that are really geared towards just helping students meet each other and make friends. This could be anything from hikes up the flat irons to 
um, you know, doing yoga with one of the students who's really good at yoga or um, going and doing a ping pong tournament or having a watch party for whichever pop, you know, TV show is really popular right now. Um, lots of simple things to just bring people together. Um, and that's a really important aspect of our community too because um, we don't like to be all business all the time. Um, and we want to make sure that at the end of the day, the Leeds Wrap and China Wrap Hall Hall are a place that our students can think of as their home. So speaking of home, what does the uh, living situation look like within China Rapa Hall? Well, we're a pretty typical uh, residence hall within CU Boulder. So the rooms are pretty standard fare for what you would find. And more importantly, I think that the, the physical building is certainly an aspect of being there, but it's really more about the programming and the people. And that's what really, I think, brings our community to life. So at this point, hopefully I've started to pique your interest and maybe you're starting to wonder how you could also become a part of our community. So I wanna finish by giving you a few quick tips on how to become a part of the Leeds Wrap. Now, in order to join the Leeds Wrap, you actually have to go through the housing application process. And that's because our program is nestled within a residence hall, and so your participation is tied to living in the hall. So once you confirm your enrollment and you submit your deposit to CU, you'll have an opportunity to submit your housing application. And when you do that, we recommend that you request Shine Arapaho Hall in the Leeds Wrap program as your first choice. Now there are plenty of other tips and tricks on how to apply for housing at CU Boulder and how to make sure that you get your spot within the Leeds Wrap. So I would really encourage you to go to our website and check out all the information we've posted there. Um, but I wanna leave you with one more note about the Leeds Wrap fee. In order to participate in the Leeds Wrap, you do have to pay an $850 one-time fee for the whole school year. And that's where our funding com comes from. That's standard across all wraps at CU. Um, but we do have a number of need-based scholarships that are available to students. So um, please, if you have any concerns about that $850 fee, please email us so that you can uh, request one of those need-based scholarships and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. So with that, I wanna say thank you for watching my video and um, please, please, please stay in touch with us. We are eager to respond to your emails. Um, because we are all working remotely, the best way to get a hold of us right now is via email. So you can contact leadsrap at colorado.edu and we'll be happy to chat and answer all of your other questions about being a part of our community. So thank you so much. Good luck and stay safe and stay healthy.